hostile abdominal aortic neck. Thank you. Well, thank you, Ted. Uh, good morning, everyone. I would like to thank the World Bank for the invitation. Um, I, I, I think my, my talk will uh, go uh, with uh, what Dr. Wagner just, Dr. Wagner just uh, uh, talked about the, uh, for the uh, hostile neck. And uh, I think mostly it would be for the hostile, uh, un unsuitable anatomy and unfit. Uh, patient for open repair or even fit sometimes I, 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 I would like to challenge a little bit with some challenging anatomy that we see more often in, in Asia. Um, we all know that there are two important zones that we would like to have this kind of nice long neck which uh, unfortunately we don't see this often but mostly we will see we will often see this but sometimes we see crook neck, ankle, sometimes we see short neck uh, all these are iliac, uh, straight iliac, right? But in Asian anatomy, sometimes we see both problem with the neck and then problem with the with the legs, with the iliac arteries. So hostile neck, we talk about short neck, angulated neck, uh, all kinds of uh, others like the, the conical shaped neck, or even this is the infected aneurysm with some kind of difficult short and very small aortic lumen kind of things. But usually. They won't come one at a time. They may come in combination of these hostile issues. So we can, we may be able to talk about about one at a time. But in real, in reality, we may see this problem come uh, 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 together. So what 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 I think I think what we we have to deal with the hostile neck it depends on shape, anatomy, angle, or all kinds of we're talking about. But things that we are not talking more often enough is that operator. Not operators can do the same thing. And it's difficult for surgeons to admit that we, I may not be as accurate as Peter or as accurate as Royal Wong de deploy this device. We, all say, we always say that, okay, the IFU is 10 millimeters, 5 millimeters. We can do it too. In reality, we may not be able to achieve that uh, limit. And then we have the, the tools and techniques that we are uh, uh, we're talking about. And the, one of the important things is that we have to have many options, many tools in our pocket, like what we just showed. If we can do only open surgery, we always do open surgery, we will always blame endovascular. We can do only endo endovascular, we always do endovascular, maybe step treatment of fat. And then we always blame the others, that's not good. Actually, th this, th there are, there are, these are options that those who are doing endovascular treatment or treat the AAA patients, we have to be able to offer all of this and depends on the anatomy, depends on the situation of the patient, uh, then which one will be the best suitable option for the patient? And I think that is something we have to be uh, uh, thinking about. I would like to, uh, for the limited time, I would like to talk a little bit more about the angled neck, which is still a big challenge for, for uh, uh, Asians and anatomies. And these are, these, these are the two different patients, I didn't flip left or right. And then we all see all these kind of triple A's with this angled neck. If the patient can go through open surgery, it's great, easy, long neck. Problem is that sometimes they cannot do open surgery. And we always blame endovascular about the secondary op operation. We rarely mention about the secondary operation for open surgery, not to mention about the incisional hernia is not that low. Uh, but we don't follow them as closely as endovascular surgery. But for, for this kind of hostile neck, this patient came to us, symptomatic 6.5 tri uh, centimeters triple A's. Of course, uh, uh, easy to, to do open surgery. This patient just had a recent uh, stroke and has significant heart disease. Another patient came in with two uh, difficult ankles like this, uh, rapidly enlarged triple A's on, uh, over 9 centimeters. And this patient has significantly COPD you know, just room temperature, doing nothing, he's still, he's still breathing with, with some I issues. Open surgeries are not option for this patient. What are we going to do? Mostly we will do nothing, right? Conservative treatment means do nothing until it's ruptured, we'll do something. And that will be too late. The, the question is that can we do endovascular surgery for this kind of anatomy as a safe, effective, and durable option? And we review our experience in the past 10 years or so uh, for the, those who are treating triple A's with neck over uh, 60 degrees. There were 154 patients in this cohort, neck over 60 degrees, majority male. As you can see that mostly the uh, large aneurysm. And I would like to point out that the, leg, the neck length is quite long, almost three centimeters. We don't treat ankle short neck. If there's short neck ankle, we will make it longer, either go uh, higher above renal as a man, as a procedure. 